It is time for another Real Michiana. It's our series that highlights you and your neighbors doing incredible things, big or small, for our community. And there's a good chance you've seen the man we're featuring this week sitting on a curb in Mishawaka, paintbrush in hand. ABC 57's Jess Arnold joins us live in the studio to introduce us to a homeless man with a mission. Jess. Brianne, this man looked familiar to you for the past three months. Danny Bright has been sitting on the corner of either Ironwood and Lincoln Way or near the McDonald's on Grape Road painting for cash. Well, I thought it was about time that we found out how he ended up there. Near the intersection of Ironwood and Lincoln Way East, barely visible between those cars whizzing past, sits a homeless man adding a splash of color to the alabaster corner. I wake up in the morning, I feel like it's a good day. It doesn't even matter what happens. I'm blessed, I'm alive, I'm above ground. I was working and I had a van that a gentleman was kind enough to give me. And the van broke down on me. And I was about a six mile walk back and forth to work. Where I have COPD and my breathing's bad. And so I couldn't make the walk anymore. And so I decided to just start doing arts and crafts. That is a pretty purple. I mean, that's always been my passion. You may have seen Danny Bright. This is basically just an underlayer. Sitting on the ground, painting for donations, he calls it. So when you picked up the paintbrush, what's different for you than other arts and crafts that you do? I, I don't know. Since I started painting, it's like I see the world through different eyes. That's how he wants you to see the homeless, through different eyes. I'm going to say 90% of the people that look at someone homeless, they think this guy's probably not homeless, and they probably think this guy's a damn drunk, or this guy's a drug addict, or this guy's this, or this guy's that. Danny says some are what people think. He's battled drug addiction since he left the Marine Corps in the 70s. He's had a couple stints in prison. But there are people out there that are homeless that are in a position, maybe because of something that happened in their life. Danny's mom, with whom he lived and cared for, died not too long ago. And life isn't fair. And that there are some out here that are trying to do something. I look at that and I think to myself, wow, I actually did that. You know, and that's what I want kids to think. He says he's working with a pastor in the hopes of creating an art class for kids. Kids that could have used help like him. A blank canvas for life lessons that he's learned the hard way. I'm 60 years old, I'll be 61 next year, and I can take everything that I own and pack it up and carry it on my back down the road. But what I'm living for, hopefully, to keep kids off the street, out of the gangs, and off of drugs, and ruining their lives like I did mine. That's what I'm living for. And Danny asked for a $30 donation for each piece, and he does take requests if you're interested. In regards to that children's class, we'll just have to let you know if he gets that up and running. And if you know anyone who you think deserves to be featured on Real Michiana, please email me at jarnold at abc57.com. I'm live in studio, Jess Arnold, ABC 57 News.